What's going on, guys? I'm Jada Black. Salute to everyone that's tuning in. I want to talk about Shakara Richardson, man. Shakara Richardson is somebody who seems like she has nothing to lose at this point. I did a video about her losing her most recent race and basically coming in last. And ever since then, she has been lashing out. And she just posted recently, not just about you know subliminally dissing you know allison uh felix and the jamaican sprinters but also she posted about how she's choosing violence she's posting about how she's choosing violence i want people to understand that not everybody is built for fame not everybody is built for that spotlight you know i praised shikari richardson for taking accountability for not being able to qualify for well not well being disqualified from the olympics because of her smoking a joint but her actions up to this point is somebody that just cannot put the cell phone down they have to go out there and they have to go at people and respond to people i just think that this might be it for her i, I know she people say well she'll bounce back she's young but are these the actions of somebody that's focused on being a, run a runner? She came in dead last. And before she ran that most recent race, she posted a hype video. She's posting about, do we miss her yet? But then when she has an opportunity to go up against the women she would have faced in the Olympics, she loses badly. And now she's lashing out at people. She's liking posts. She's choosing violence. Let's get into this bro Bible article. And then we're going to get into the tweets of why everybody's clowning her. So Jakar Richardson sets a new personal record of disrespect by insulting Allison Felix. Allison Felix uh, is the most decorated Olympic track athlete this great nation has ever known, earning 11 medals through five Olympics dating back to the 2004 Games in Athens. Uh, this week on Jimmy Kimmel, uh, when guest host Stephen A. Smith ate up interview uh, time with Felix by asking her about Shakara Richardson debacle. No one would have faulted her for nodding off in the chair. That be uh, that be uh, Stephen A. Uh, asking LeBron about Mac McClung on primetime television. Instead, the 35-year-old showered Richardson with pleasantries and well wishes. Now she could have just been being politically correct, which is probably what it was. Privately, she probably thinks something differently. But, you know, she obviously, now this is what Allison has to say. She's obviously been through so much, and I hope that she supported, Felix said. I hope that people rallied around, rally around her. Obviously, she has a great personality, and she brought a lot of attention to the sport, and I think she'd be in the sport for a very long time. I think just more than anything, for all athletes, there's so much that goes into it. So, just give her the support that she needs right you would think that that's you know that's her being nice right that's her being supportive of somebody who she's basically when it comes to the olympics that's basically her teammate right well i guess they didn't go over well because shikari had this response and someone tweeted here uh, Allison Felix offers Shakari Richardson words of encouragement on Jimmy Kimmel and Shakari throws shade saying that it's not real. Okay, let's see here. Let's go here to the uh, the Twitter. And this is what Shakari Richardson had to say. Encouraging words on TV shows just uh, are just as real as well. Nothing at all. Let me just say this. Let me let me tell y'all the reason why Shikari may have said this. I believe Shikari doesn't talk to her outside of, you know, being on the same, you know, American Olympic team when it comes to the Olympics, right? But I don't think her and Allison have ever really been cool with each other. And I think that Shikari being young and Shikari being emotional, if she doesn't really know somebody and has talked to them, and then they're showering her with praise, she's going to perceive it as being fake. To me, this is what you call somebody that doesn't have the right people around her, 
somebody who might be a bit immature and doesn't really know how to get along with other people. You see, it would not surprise me at all if Shakari Richardson doesn't have very many female friends because she's having issues with females in her particular sport. And yes, she has brought a lot of eyeballs to uh, track and field as far as women's track and field outside of the Olympics. Because we're talking about track and field, but not necessarily the Olympics. Like, we're still talking about the most recent race that Shakar Richardson just, just ran that she did not do very well in. So I can say that she has done that. But I don't think Shakari gets along with other women like that. I just, I just don't. That's why she's saying this about Allison Felix. Uh, Pepper in a little Jamaica shaming while we're self emulating. Now, this is a tweet I guess she liked. Not y'all Jamaican still talking shit when y'all gotta walk barefoot to your coconut stand every day for a living. Now, again, do I agree with her liking that? No, I, I don't insult people in what country they're from. Well, you know, unless they got smoke for me. I, you know, I may clown them a bit on certain aspects of them, but not necessarily, you know, stereotypes. And again, it's that immaturity. Scar Richardson is just very immature and she doesn't have the right people around her. You know, she's a young female who, who's been showered with fame and notoriety, right? She got the big endorsement. She did the commercial with Kanye West. This is somebody that's being given a whole lot in her young track career. And she doesn't know how to handle it. I know she recently lost a parent and I believe that may still be affecting her. But it also seems like she's taking it out on other people. The fact that she wasn't able to not only um, she got the 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 um, the criticism for not being able to get to the Olympics, but also losing that race, I think, has caused her to lash out. And it seems like she's lashing out because she got beat really badly in this last race. It's a sad reality, but sometimes the most disappointing incidents that breed the best reactions it says, well, my time to finish your car is over. It's been fun. Prayers down. When you've been to finish a car, Richardson 100 and she comes for Alex and Felix. How black Twitter pulling up a car Richardson after she had bad mouth as she bad mouth. Alex and Felix. Alex and Felix has 11 gold medals to car Richardson. Who's won literally nothing yet is treating her like a JV track coach. Laugh my ass off. Unbelievable. Rhea Shikari coming for Allison Felix. Shikari went from hero to villain faster than she finished in the 100 meters. Yeah, that's what it seems like. Now, let's go to the whole choosing violence thing. Now, she has doubled down on everything by talking about choosing violence. Now, this is according to Total Pro Sports. They have all the tweets here, but this is also uh through the shade rooms post all right these are some of the responses why she ain't chose speed because her drug of choice is weed girl chose speed she becoming too involved with social media aspect then her running her race she really says she's gonna have the last laugh she needs to be choosing speed like Lightning McQueen. She needs to choose training. I had high hopes for her from all the shit she was talking and came in dead last. She should have been cool with them girls, gain knowledge and apply it on the field. Why are we beefing if we the same? Because women, most women don't like each other. Shakara Richardson just basically proved what I have been saying that most of these women especially a lot of these westernized women don't like each other especially the melanated women melanated women can't stand each other unless they have a certain reason to be cool with each other they don't like each other i don't care how much sisterhood bs they're talking they don't like each other that's why a lot of them don't have female friends they will tell you that they don't like other women and this just proves it sakari doesn't like 
most women out here, she doesn't. And that's why it's so easy for her to have this mindset and this attitude towards these other women. Cause she doesn't like, I don't think she like women like that who she's aren't really, 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 really cool with. But outside of that, outside of that circle, she's, a lot of these chicks she can't stand. She sees them as competition 24 seven. She don't want to be their fake, you know, Instagram friend or, you know, fake, fake celebrity friend. Y'all know most of these celebrities are fake friends, right? Just friends for appearances. Why didn't she choose speed? Well, I, I think that, uh, yeah, Shikari has been definitely, people have been going in on her, but again, what do you expect? She's a young woman. I think she's still trying to find her way out here. I just think that the maturity level is still a work in progress. I think that she's still upset that she lost that last race and she's getting clowned for that. And she's trying to double down just to show people that she's not gonna back down. But I think that Shakara needs to focus on running the races instead of going out here trying to win Twitter battles. Cause those women are not gonna go back and forth with her. Allison Felix is not gonna go back and forth with her. Uh, those Jamaican sprinters are not going to go back and forth with her. You know, she's basically battling herself at this point. So y'all let me think in the comment section below and let me know your thoughts.